The Hin Harrier is a unique piece of Irish natural heritage. It is one of our most spectacular and special birds of prey. However, it is also one of Ireland's most endangered native birds of prey. If we wish for Hin Harriers to remain a sight on the Irish landscape, as they have been for millennia, we as a people need a better understanding of the species, its ecology and the landscape which it depends on. This presentation is hopefully a beginning on this road to an increased awareness and understanding of the Hin Harrier in Ireland. This is the male Hin Harrier. He is a spectacular looking bird of prey with silver blue upper parts, mostly white underneath and black tips to his wings. He has a wingspan of about 1 meter wide and weighs just 350 grams. And this is the female Hen Harrier. With her brown plumage, she is a very different looking bird to the male. For centuries, people actually thought that the male and female Hen Harrier were in fact two different species. The female Harrier is slightly larger than the male, with a wingspan of about 1.2 meters and weighing 5 to 600 grams. With such large wingspans, yet lightweight, in Harriers are very skillful, elegant and graceful flyers, more often gliding rather than flapping their wings. This is the male Hin Harrier bringing food back to the nest. The Hin Harrier feeds mostly on small birds and small mammals such as rats or mice. Despite its name, you will not see the Hin Harrier chasing hens or chickens around your garden. Again, this is the female Hin Harrier. A characteristic feature of the Hin Harrier is the white band where the tail meets the body. Interestingly, even though they are silver when mature, male Hen Harriers actually look like their female counterparts when they are young. When they become about one year old, they start to change to the silver adult plumage. As young chicks, male and female Hen Harriers can be told apart in the nest by the color of their eyes. The males have gray eyes, while the females have brown eyes. When they get older, both male and female eyes turn amber and then yellow with age. Here in this photograph, we can clearly see the difference between the male and female in Harrier. The Hin Harrier, seen here on the right, has special hearing capabilities. Like the barn owl on its left, the Hin Harrier has special features in its face and ears to enable the bird to catch its prey without even seeing the prey. This is an evolutionary adaptation to the Hin Harrier's habitats such as marsh, grassland and moorland, where vegetation is tall and food such as mice are hidden under this vegetation. A further adaptation to these habitats and landscapes include the Hin Harrier's long legs so that they can catch prey in the tall vegetation. Hin Harriers have to survive through bad weather in Ireland, which is at the very western extreme of the species' entire global range. In the depths of winter, Hin Harriers here must spend 16 hours in darkness, in the wind and rain and cold temperatures. However, come spring and summer, with lengthening days and warming temperatures, Harriers begin to turn towards breeding mode once again and begin assuming position on their breeding territories, which are generally, though not always, in the uplands between 100 and 350 meters above sea level. On fine spring days or during the summer, the Hin Harrier puts on probably the greatest performance in all of Irish nature. The spectacular courtship display, known as the Skydance, is a sight to behold and words cannot do its justice. The male rises high into the sky and suddenly plummets, in doing so hurtling to the ground at breakneck speeds, twisting and turning and somersaulting as he does so. Just as it looks as if he's going to hit the ground, he uses all his skill and power to pull back up in the sky once again before falling again and rising again and doing so constantly engaged in acrobatics. This is how the males show off to the females and sometimes you may be lucky enough to see the sky dance dance off between two males competing for the one female. Females may also participate in some sky dancing as the breeding season begins to hot up. When the supportive displays have taken place, and territories are occupied, the Harrier pair choose their nest location. Hen Harriers nest on the ground because they have evolved in open landscapes such as moorland where there are no trees. Heather has been their traditional habitat in Ireland 
and harriers here still make great use of this habitat for nesting and hunting, where it is of good enough quality. However, many of the hen harriers' traditional moorland areas in Ireland have been lost through damage or direct loss via afforestation. While harriers now regularly nest in forestry that has replaced much of the traditional moorland habitat, this appears to be an ecological trap as hen harriers nesting in these forest situations are more likely to fail, probably as a result of higher predator numbers in these settings. In addition, given the hen harrier needs open areas to forage, the commercial forests greatly reduce the availability of foraging grounds to the harriers upon reaching thicket stage after just 10 to 15 years. As previously referred to, hen harriers make their nest on the ground. They lay four to six small white eggs. These eggs take 30 days to hatch, with the mother incubating every day and every night. So, 30 days later, this is what we can expect in the nest. The chicks actually hatch out at different times, so there will be bigger chicks and smaller chicks in the nest. When the chicks are small, the mother looks after them very closely. She has to protect them from the weather, for example a hot sun, wet rain or cold temperatures, and of course predators. Being a ground nesting bird, the hen harrier is at risk of being predated by land mammals such as foxes, mink and pine marten. There are also aerial predators to contend with. Crows and magpies are a particular threat, especially in forest areas, which present perches for these birds. If any predator comes near a hen harrier's nest, the parents will bravely defend the nest, even putting their own lives at risk. As the female needs to stay close to the nest, minding the young, the male is charged with finding food for the family. He may have to travel long distances in search of food, particularly where habitats suitable to the hen harriers are scarce or are damaged. The male must not alone find food to feed himself, but also the female and the young chicks in the nest. When he returns with food, the female rises to meet him in the air and turns upside down underneath him. He releases the food and she catches it upside down in her talons and brings it back to the nest. This is known as the food pass. Only hen harriers do this in Ireland. It is the closest thing to aerial refueling that you will see in Irish nature and is another spectacular trait of the hen harrier. This is a series of photographs showing the spectacular food pass. You can see the prey being passed from the male on top to the female underneath. Needless to say, hen harriers are a native Irish fauna and only take what prey they need and never kill too many small birds or rodents because if they did, they would have nothing left to live on. This is a video showing a food pass in action. Here you will see the male with food in his legs and the female will rise from the bottom right hand corner to come underneath the male and take the food from her. She will then take that food back to the nest and feed the young. Inside the nest, the mother continues to look after the chicks, which at this stage depend completely on her. The chicks begin to get their feathers at about 14 days old and at this stage, in addition to the father, the mother will leave the nest more often in search of food for the growing chicks. Visiting a hen harrier nest without license from National Parks and Wildlife Service is strictly forbidden in Ireland due to the risks associated with disturbance of the nest. So the chicks grow in the nest and they get their feathers. Just 35 days after coming out of the small white egg, the chicks are ready to make their first flights. In the lead up to the first flight, there is a lot of action at the nest, with young chicks preening and building up their flight muscles.
Amazingly, within days of their first flight, the young hen harriers are already able to fly upside down and to take the food from their parents in the air. Fledging time is usually near the end of the summer in July or August. It is a real joy to watch young hen harriers fledge as they represent hope for the future of a declining population.